Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, look, 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 look. we got the artists letting you know that the music industry is demonic, man, and it be trying to make them talk about things they don't want to talk. We gonna talk about that in a second. All right? uh, we got uh, rappers going off at their concerts, man, because they tired of y'all, man. We also have um, uh, DJ Mustard in the album that he dropped, man. The joint kind of flopped, so you know he 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 thinks he knows exactly what caused that. Okay, uh, uh, Drake, we looking at you. Of uh, uh, Fifty Cent um, with the with the with the win, we also got um, uh, Virgil Abloh on Counterfeit Clothing Man and um, uh, Cardi B and Offset. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your test. Go and give it a tap, and that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on to the look. You know how you be throwing water bottles and boxer shorts and ice at your favorite artists while they perform? <laughs> well, look, uh, well, you done hit T Pain. And it hurt. You know what I'm saying? Take take a listen to T Pain going absolutely off on uh, folks because y'all done threw the last damn water bottle at this man. Take a listen real quick. As a motherfucker that turns 40 this year, I'm not obligated to stay up here while my boys keep disrespecting me. And it's just, you want to sound like an asshole? But you want to stay up here and just keep disrespecting me. It's only a few pieces of shit out there, you know what I mean? Who are having fucking fun? I'm not saying that I want to leave. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not pissed or anything, but it's only... So much shit. I'm going. I'm, you know, I'm not a fucking clown. I'm not gonna sit up here and get pies thrown in my face and shit. You know. I'm fuck with you. I'm fuck with you, bro. I'm fuck with y'all. Again, I appreciate y'all coming out this motherfucker. And I don't want to leave halfway through. I really don't want to. Trust me. But I can't stay up this motherfucker getting disrespected. That's all I'm saying. You all want to keep going? Hey, look, look, that man was talking like a damn 40 year old. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was going off. Like, like your parent would go off and they just keep going and they just keep saying it again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't get it. Are these concerts free? If I spent my money, my hard earned, you know how hard it is to make money out here? If I spent my hard earned money to go and see an artist, when I see him, I wouldn't start throwing items at him during their performance so that they could leave. Who does that? Why would you throw items at an artist that you paid? to see and perform you know what i'm saying like you paid to watch them come and you paid to watch them perform for you so you're gonna throw a water bottle and, and items at them so that they could leave that's so dumb gosh see that's what like <laughs> this is this is it's like being in a classroom and you got and your teacher's like yo i got the, the i got a lesson that's gonna be so fun you guys are going to love it and, and as long as Y'all don't start like throwing pencils and stuff at each other. And then somebody's like, well, we're going to throw pencils at each other because we don't even want whatever fun lesson you got prepared for us. You follow what I'm saying, man? I just don't understand. People are slow. Anyway, my bad. Uh, uh, I want you to take a listen, right? To uh, a lot of y'all want to get into the music industry, okay? Um, and, and here's the thing. I think the music industry is like one of those things that like you don't really know know about it until you want the inside of it. And then when you want the inside, you're like, oh, you know what? This ain't all that it was cracked up to be. See, I think that's what it like. That's what all of life is. And that's the pattern, right? You want the house. You want the house. You want the house until you get hit with the taxes. Then when you get hit with the taxes, you start looking at the house. Like, wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't why, like, why the taxes this high? Because you wanted that kind of house. You know what I mean? Now the roof is caving in. Okay. Oh, you want a beautiful yard, but there's a lot of maintenance that goes into it. You want the, you want the partner. You want the, but then you realize all the, the shenanigans you got to deal with. Okay. Um, just look, ask, ask Drewski. Okay. With the, with the Ruby Rose situation. Anyway, look, take a listen to these artists. Um, I think I played one of them for you already, but take a look at Meek Mill, NBA young boy, Cardi B and young Miami speaking on the music industry and, 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 um, and how they feel about it. Take a listen. We get paid to rap about that stuff. They actually pay us more. 
when we rap about more ignorant stuff, so I make sure I even align and come up and talk on stages like this. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16, and I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I felt very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten a car or put this shit in their ears and actually hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn. It's weird. I've been having these weird feelings lately. And that's kind of why I didn't want to do this song, Shake It, or like any drill song. Because it's like these songs are activating like these demons that I killed. I don't want to be that girl anymore. Like, I just want to be a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. I want to be a city girl. She ain't gonna be no city girl. <laughs> so, so Summer ain't allowed to be no city girl? Mm-mm. -mm. No. I want her raise her totally different. Like, you know, I don't even want her to either see the light of day like that. Like, I really want her to just be like, you know, like level headed a school girl and just on a whole nother way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's heavy stuff right there, what they said, man. I mean, we know that the music industry, like, because money is fueling it, right? So because money fuels it, whatever brings the money, that's, you know, that's what they're going to tell you to promote. And what they tell you to promote are things that you hate. You know what I mean? I remember Rakim saying that um, Dr. Dre was even telling him, like, yo, man, whatever you rhyme, he's like, yo, rhyme about that gangster stuff. Talk about that, that gangster gangster stuff. And Rakim was like, yo, man, I'm trying to push out, you know, righteous stuff. And um, him and him and Dre, they could never really quite, you know what I mean? Like quite drop the joint. Rakim said he had to leave, man. And, and 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 what's interesting is what Cardi B said, man. She said like she felt like she left that demon behind. And now it's like that demon came back. Like the demon, like that's why she didn't want to. I forgot the name of the song, but she didn't want to perform the song because she felt like it was bringing back them demons that she left behind. Let me just throw this out of here, okay? I firmly believe this. I believe that um, the, the, the whole thing, right, is is influence. OK, I believe that demons want love to use people that have a wide sphere of influence, because if you have a wide sphere of influence, then they can just and, and, and they get taught wrong information they could just knock off a whole bunch of people all in one fell swoop you know what i mean like all it takes is one tweet okay all it takes is one statement that's that's pushed out to lots of people and a lot of people operate like sheep you know what i mean so they're easy to lead astray okay it's very easy to lead people astray remember the road to hell is a very gradual slope to hell you follow what i'm saying man and the music industry, man, yo, man, just, yo, man, just drop this rhyme. Just say, nah, just change this line right here. And that line can actually devastate people's lives. That one line that you wanted to switch up could devastate people's lives, man. It be happening, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, DJ Mustard. Listen, man. DJ Mustard. Hey, look, look. DJ Mustard is the one responsible, right, for producing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. Okay? N look, Not Like Us is a global phenomenon, right? So you would think, since Not Like Us did so well, Mustard's album, Faith of a Mustard Seed, would have done decently. The joint dropped and it only did 18K its first week. Technically, Ice Spice did better than that. You know what I'm saying? Ice Spice did 20K her first week. DJ Mustard did, look, look, look. I cover hip hop news damn near every day. <laughs> You're like, yeah, of course it's damn near every day because you wasn't here yesterday. Whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Things popped up, okay? Uh, I cover hip hop news damn near every day for four years. I had no idea this album from Mustard dropped. Real talk, I didn't know. So I think the promo was kind of weak. I think it should have got better promo, man. Look, 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 let's see who was on the album. Um, all right, all right, look, all right. So on the album, uh, apparently Quavo was on the album, Rob 49, Kirk Franklin was on the album, Ella May, Roddy Rich, Kodak Black, Travis Scott. You saw Travis Scott had a concert with like. 80,000 people in attendance. They said that so many, I think it was in like Brazil or Argentina, wherever the hell it was. They said he shook, They shook, the people thought it was a damn earthquake in the area because the people were jumping and it was doing too much. Future was on there, Young Thug was on, Little Dirt, there's a bunch of people on there. So I'm actually kind of shocked that the joint only did 18K. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, but look, I still didn't know the joint was coming out with all, even all them artists. And, and look, 18K units, is not fantastic like we like this video might get eighteen thousand views and that 
those be like my low nights. <laughs> my low night is 18,000 views. You, you, like 18,000 streams or whatever? That's crazy. Is it 18,000? Is it 18,000 albums sold? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's too low. Okay. Uh, and Mustard had, this is what Mustard said, right? Mustard said, this is what he posted. He said, album sales are a form of white supremacy. You ninjas are racist. I don't know what he meant by that. I've seen this a couple of times. I try to understand it. I don't know what he meant by that. He said, Drake is the Malcolm X of white people and academics make sure you post Gordo, says, uh, what is it? It's, uh, whatever. Gordo, first week since Drake thought he did a thing with making him drop on the same day as me. These Drake bots are the nation of Drizlam. The nation of Drizlam. Really? Uh, oh, I, I think he's alluding to the idea that like, yo, they got Drake bots out there that, that, that focus more streams on the one. And I think, I think when the bots kick in, it f's with the algorithm. Um, yeah, his joint move 18k. And look, and bro was like, <laughs> look, his joint move 18k. Bro was like, <laughs> is that damn Drake? I guess. Uh, now, folks, folks did have some words about what he said, right? So, uh, must have followed that post by posting. He said, "I ain't mad." He said, "I'm at my son' basketball game, man. They was hooping and they just won. I figured I'd face some bots." You know what I mean? He said, look, I'm still grateful a bot can never make me ungrateful. LOL. Cuff y'all thought. Close quote. So yeah, as far as he's concerned, man, Drake Drake be using the bots to get the things off the ground, get, get streams and stuff off the ground. Okay? Um, now, truth be told, Drake's albums are, Drake's album, um, Drake's concerts and stuff, they go crazy too. There's a lot of people that he got following him. So, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh, this thing, he don't make no music that people listen to. People listen to the man music now. You know what I mean? But he did over, he flooded the market. Flooded the market so long, you can't help but turn on the radio and hear Drake's song. Matter of fact, let's go to the radio right now and see what they're playing. Let's see. Who we got? Who we got on deck? I wouldn't be surprised if Drake was on that. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised you start hearing him do his, his, that, that, that terrible, um, accent that he does with the you know what I'm saying when you start jafaking uh let me see who, wait, wait wait hold on let me switch the station let me see what we got i don't hear nothing nope i don't hear nothing okay it'd be nice if i heard something but i don't uh is it shout out time who knows uh let's see let's see what my time uh, all right look, 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 look. let's um let's give it look, 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 look. remember when we told you that uh, an ex-drug dealer kingpin filed a lawsuit against fifth well according to um the ex kingpin, uh, he was sell he was trying to sue Fifth for one billion dollars because, according to the kingpin, right, ex kingpin, Fifth stole his life story to create the story of power. Right, bro filed a lawsuit against Fifth, claiming that power reflected his life without consent, and he said he believed Ghost's life, you know, from Power in the series, closely mirrored his own experience. Whatever the situation, right, bro lost the court case and it looks like he ain't gonna see that billion can you imagine if he was expecting a billion to hit your pockets even a even a hundred million a hundred thousand you know what i'm saying fifth posted fifth's a fool thought he was a ghost he said the cuff wrong with these ninjas man you know what i'm saying look do you know close quote, do you know how easy it is to think that what you watching is about you <laughs> you know what i mean they, look, they made a whole song about that. You're so vain, you probably think this song is about you. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? We always think we the man, that man on fire that slowly walks away from the explosion without turning around to look at it. Crazy thing is this. All of us are low-key the same, okay? We're, like, no one is really standing out. Think about all the things that you and other people have in common. I know some of y'all are like, yeah, but I'm a celebrity. Yeah, but you got a BBL just like everybody else right you got a tattoo just like everybody else all you basics out there with your damn tattoos okay i'm, I'm unique why because i got a tattoo and what does it say what everybody else says <laughs> look you ain't unique man you common bro look you looking around like i'm talking to somebody else. i'm talking to you the listener your ad is a basic bro you like i ain't basic i'm unique i stand out that's what all the basics say regular ad Matt Regular. Um, you know, that's how, like, when the, the idea of the like button goes to show you. you. If you ever liked something, you're just like everybody else. <laughs> you are just like everybody else. He's like, what about you? Dude, are we all the same, bro. That's what the Twilight Zone taught us. People are alike all over. I learned that from the Twilight Zone when I was like 11. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, let me give you this one real quick. Let me go to my shout-outs. Let me, let me go to my shout-outs. Short video for today. Short video for today. Um, where we at over here? All right, look, 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 look. Oh, all right. Son of the right hand. Son of the right hand said, Leviticus 5 says, uh, this is what God says. If a soul sins and, hear, and hears the voice of swearing and is a witness, whether he's seen it or known of it, if he don't speak on it, then he'll bear his own iniquity. Okay, I guess the idea is saying if you witness a crime and you are brought on a stand and you don't say what you saw or what you know, God said you in sin. So those of y'all that are like, I ain't never gonna rat, I ain't never gonna rat. If you saw it and you are called to the to the stand and you don't speak on it, then God's gonna hold you accountable for that. You're like, whatever, I'm more loyal to my niggas than to God. Well then you going to hell, bro. Point blank and simple. It's plain and simple. If you're gonna stick to your boys. More than what the word of God said, then you, then you, then you, then hell is made for you, bro. Because technically you put your boys over God. What idiot would do that? Uh, uh, he also quoted Ezekiel. He said, when I say to the wicked, you're going to die. You don't give him a warning and you don't speak and warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. That wicked man going to die in his sins, but his blood I'm going to require at your hand. That's right. The most high is going to be requiring people's blood from you. A lot of people are gonna have to answer to God. You know what I'm saying? For the things that they ain't do. You know what I mean? Or, or, or things that they ain't say. Um, where we at over here? Uh, I, uh, shout out to uh, Zay. Zay, Zay, Zay D. Smith. My man said, look, I haven't laughed this hard in years. <laughs> I'm still laughing at this ish. Two days ago, he's still laughing. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to you, Zay. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, honey, please be serious. Says Celeb, I agree with you. Do you? On what? Honey, uh, honey, please say, um, we can't forget men who glamorize the twerking. If men turn away from that, oh, okay, I guess from the Megan Lee Stallion twerking situation, said, um, we can't forget men who glamorize the twerking. If men turn away from that, um, they have no choice but to stop. I always knew that would bite us in the back. That wasn't the time or place. I had nothing against Megan, but she needs to understand time and place. Okay. Uh, so, so the idea is this. Like what, what, what honey, please be serious said is real talk. Like if you think about it, every time, everything that we see glamorized is glamorized because everything that we see in society, right? I'm, I'm going to get my, my, my thought out. Everything that we see in society, we only see in society because a lot of people have said this thing is cool and they liked it. And when they liked it, it made maybe somebody some money. So they keep doing it. When Megan Thee Stallion started twerking or whatever, and all these artists started twerking, and folks loved it, and they, and they clapped for her, she just did it again. It just is what it is. We, uh, is it the word is incentivized? Whatever the word is, we essentially tell people we love when they do certain things, and that's why they keep doing it. And um, for those of us that, uh, if you're a man and you hit the like button whenever you see a woman twerking, you're essentially telling her. I like what you did, keep doing it, and I'm gonna keep liking it, and maybe you can make some money off of it every time you do it. So, uh, you know, just don't like it, you know what I mean? I, like I say, whatever you wanna see more of, hit the like button. If you appreciate this content, hit the like button. If you don't wanna see more of this content, I don't know why you hit. You know, like we get mad views, but I be wondering what, like y'all don't be hitting the like button. Y'all don't like the videos that we do? I, I be thinking y'all don't like the videos. Uh, sincerely, Lisa, VA Lisa said, well, she said, wait, 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 wait. She said, before calling, okay, this is a good one right here. This is from yesterday. Uh, this is according, this is about the video on the Sonia Massey, um, uh, the, the man that, that killed Sonia Massey, his fiance, who was a nurse. Uh, sincerely, VA Lisa said, before calling the nursing board, please make sure the claims against the nurse is true without a shadow of a doubt. I'm a nurse and work hard for my degree, and it would be a shame for that nurse to fight for her license if the allegations aren't true. I'm disgusted about the demise of Sonia Massey, and we know for sure her husband is guilty. I just ask that people do their due diligence before going after her license. My condolences to the Massey family. I think that's a very important, important message. Because if the wife truly did have nothing to do with it, and she's like, I hate what my, my husband did, then that's... Although I, I have heard somebody else mention it, but a lot of people could mention something and it could not be true. You know what I'm saying? So definitely look into it. I just wanted to post what, you know, what that lady, what that lady posted. Uh, but definitely do your due diligence. Um, and lastly, Lucci Susan. Lucci Susan said your offset go cry in the car. 
um i don't know i don't know we're we gonna we're gonna see if you're gonna cry the car maybe maybe not uh lastly lastly big bless big bless said um hit the like button over 10,000 views and only 600 likes hit the damn like button and subscribe hey yo man i appreciate that big bless um yeah 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 if, if you don't mind if you don't mind of course everybody has an option to hit it not hit it but if you don't mind we definitely appreciate you hitting the like button it definitely helps the channel out believe it or not okay i know a lot of y'all think like i'm like ain't gonna make a difference it does okay uh you, you see the number go up when you hit it right you like no well i'm just saying Anyway, look, 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 look. back in 2017, Virgil Abloh, right, um, provided his thoughts on people counterfeiting fitting his off-white brand. And he had this to say about bootleggers. Take a listen. I wonder how you would feel about, like, counterfeits. Does it have to be made by oh, you to be off-white? Nah, exactly. That's why off-white is different. I love counterfeits. It's the best feedback. It's better than, like, a great review on Vogue. Like, if it's working to the point where someone else can profit off that, that means it's really working. You're not taking anything away from me, it, you're actually just advertising more. But if you think Off-White's too expensive, that's great. You're supposed to make your own t-shirt brand. It's meant so that you start the competing brand that's better than Off-White. You're like, damn, yo, bro was a real one. <laughs> oh, he was real, you know what I'm saying? Look, he was so real after saying that in 2017, he sued e-commerce marketplace, wish.com for selling counterfeit Off-White goods. Off, look, uh, it said Off-White is suing uh, wish.com for lost profits and two million dollars per infringement which could total 300 million i guess bro felt that way and then louis vuitton came back like you better go back and you better go sue them people that that followed your advice that's messed up people followed his advice and got sued look bro submitted a memo a memo along with the complaint that essentially said that selling fakes damaged the inherent value of the brand and he said counterfeit off-white goods have damaged the relationship the brand has with its consumers and re retailers, uh, adding that the availability of fakes on the site have curtailed off-white's ability to attract new customers. Close quote. So, I, look, like I said, man, Louis Vuitton, I guess they must they wasn't hearing none of that. Look, I could imagine, I could imagine folks is like, yo, if there's going to be a knockoff to be made, it's going to be made by us. <laughs> yes, yeah, Uh And finally wrap this bad boy up man i think the artists actually have been behaving that's why this these story to me today is boring this is a boring day today okay what do you want some days you got hot days and some days is boring listen um so we've been speaking on cardi b going through her divorce situation whatever she filed for divorce. there was a story about offset scene with his ex in a casino the woman pretty red was eight months pregnant she was like yo i was just with family uh offset immediately hopped on the social media he was like <laughs> what pregnant lady you know what i'm saying next thing we knew cardi b filed for divorce and uh and, and um we then saw uh look um offset looking unbothered he was like in the back of the car he, he was looking unbothered and there was talk about child support okay but that information might be a little bit off cardi b recently posted an update she said she said oh she said okay this is getting weird because i can see he helps me i can say he helps me with a lot of my business and the kids never in my career no matter what i went through i had friends or family go to the media so i don't know who is this damn source going to people magazine oh people magazine you better check your damn sources she said, even with my filing, I'm not asking for child support. My claim is for him to only pay for the bills he already pays on the kids and the new one. Close quote. And the new one. Uh, so, so there you have it. Okay. Now, um, I, so I will apologize. We did report that uh, um, the child support. We did report the child support piece. Okay. Because uh, uh, that's what that's what I got from my sources. All right. Um, so we, we will apologize for that error. Apparently, everyone that has been, she says she's never had friends or family, right? Go to any of these sources. So she don't know who the source is. Um, look, now I gotta go find Cardi's source and call them all kinds of liars to their face. You follow what I'm saying, man? You coming over here telling me all this insanity. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Um, uh, I guess that's a relief for, for, for Offset. He don't gotta pay child support? He still gotta help out with the kids though. Cause child support's crazy. They force you to do it? it ain't no joke. Uh um what else we got over here? Uh do, do you think do you think every song is about you? Cause it ain't. Uh and and did you know about DJ Mustard's album? Because I didn't. Right? Gangster rap. Do they be trying to influence people to do demonic things? Cause they do. Okay? 
and T-Pain going off. Do you pay for concerts and throw items at the artist? Because I don't. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.